One of the things I really want to do even more with the Philadelphia Orchestra is be very present in American music history. So the past, the present, and also the future of it. And one very exciting work we'll be presenting, introducing to our audience this season is by Mason Bates, was written just a couple of years ago, and it's called Alternative Energy. It's a fascinating piece because it does bring new sounds, new American sounds, a new definition of what it is to have American music. It also has a certain time-traveling aspect to it in between the movements, which are really connected and yet have a lot to do about history and about an awareness of our geography and the sustainability of our energy and our future as a planet Earth and how American music can be at the center of this. There is an uh, electronic aspect to it, which is fascinating because it is not something that's added to the orchestral material, but more something that is treated as another section of the orchestra, interacting with the orchestra. It's a piece that also has uh, a lot of the futuristic approach to it. And it does blend different musical genres and is trying to imagine in one century or two even what music would or could sound like. I think it's a fascinating way of connecting our own history with how we think the future of music will be. In order to do so, um, Mason Bates himself will be with us performing on the stage, actually activating all the electronic aspect, which is a computerized one. And I think it's really important these days to have the composer present when we do newer works. Not only it's an interaction about what the composer really wants and have the discussion live with the musicians, which makes it better for our audiences, but also the fact of having it on stage at the same time is, uh, is something unique. It's not uh, very usual in, in our world to see that. And uh, Mr. Bates will be with us uh, when we perform it and we're really excited about it. One of the most important American composers living today is Christopher Rouse. And we have been playing some of his music over the years, but now it's a very important commission uh, that the Philadelphia Orchestra um, has given Christopher Rouse in a new, brand new organ concerto. So we have the Fred J. Cooper organ, uh, and this is a unique instrument that we try to feature more and more in our seasons. And the fact of having a new work specifically conceived for our orchestra and this organ by a composer who is well known for his, the way he can manipulate all big sounds or great forces. I think he will really see something about having two orchestras, one being the organ and the other one being our musicians of the Philadelphia Orchestra. This is a very exciting work. We will also open the season in a, uh, at the very beginning. We'll have a, one of the most um, played and I think really more promising and interesting pieces of recent repertoire in American music by Theophanides is called Rainbow Body and it does link to uh, many centuries back, some theological and spiritual writings. And we will combine this with Mozart, which I think is a very nice combination. And all of this American music is as conceived as part of a crescendo, I would say, because we are getting close to uh, Bernstein uh, centenary. And we want to feature a lot of Bernstein's music but we want to have the spirit of Bernstein in the way that we can develop new ways of understanding American music. So we will indeed have two pieces by Bernstein on the program, Prelude, Fugue and Riffs, and also his first symphony uh, that we will also bring to Carnegie Hall. So this is, a, uh, I think, a nice picture of American music, not only of our time, but uh, connecting the past, the present and the future.